Hello YouTube, uh, this is going to be a video um, of creating a, a pattern that has a, a draft angle on it. Uh, previously I'm having problems uh, pulling uh, the pattern out of the sand. Um, and what I've discovered, and I mentioned in a previous video, is I need an angle in here, a relief angle. And um, I've only got the three inch chuck and uh, I cannot get the outside chuck. If I need to do a relief angle on the inside, um, I, 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 I need to be able to cut on the inside and struggling with this three inch chuck. Let me grab another one of these just to show you <clears throat> that the way that I've got these, they have this, um, this casted, this, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it sticks out. Uh, short of having a four inch chuck and you know I thought about a couple different ways to get this mounted on here um, you know gluing it to another one or whatever so I can get the internal angle just so locked out that uh, before the uh, chuck gulls fall off it actually will grab to this this outside angle here so I have it chucked up on that ridge so whatever works right okay so um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set this up to do I don't know uh, there's some calculations, but I'm going to maybe try a five, a five degree angle on the inside of this. And uh, then when I get that done, I'm going to do a five degree angle on the outside going inwards. And then from my understanding, what I've read and a few comments that people have said that it'll be really easier to release this, um, get it out of the sand. So let me go ahead and get the, uh, the lathe set up. I'll show you how I'm going to set that up. Um, let me get my tools together. We'll come back and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so the first thing I'll need to do is go ahead and create that angle. And uh, I'm a little embarrassed. I'm halfway in between switching over to a new lathe. And so I got all kinds of goofy handles on this thing right now. This is just a screw, but you guys all know about how to adjust the angle on this. this is Bane, just a problem frustrating um, you got to crank this thing all the way back and to expose those two allen screws right there and that's at the end of your um, your slide travel so then uh, what we'll do here is loosen these two screws up And we'll come on over here and on the front there's a protractor there and there's a mark Get focus there's a mark right there and I'll just rotate this to five degrees and now I'll go ahead and tighten the screws back up and I'm setting this up for the inside cut right now uh, the, the the opposing side will be the, uh, the outside Okay. All right, now we just spin that up to get it straight again. And uh, then I'll be getting my tools, uh, my cutter set up and uh, I'll be cutting this five degree angle here. Okay, to set up this cut, I can't just plunge straight in because uh, it won't be able to cut. So I'm gonna start by taking the tip here. You can barely see it here. Don't turn it around. Let's come right over top. This tip here, I'm going to start it on the back over the back here. Uh, I'll, I'll bring that center, I'll bring that to here. And then that's where I'll start my cut. And um, so let me go ahead and bring that in. And I can already say I have a problem now. Um, the bottom of the tool is hitting the inside ring, so I'm going to have to use a smaller tool here. 
let me let me do some planning and I'll be right back with you anyway so uh, again talking to T2H Instructables he was commenting about the large tooling um, and he was said that uh, um, that he was a uh, he also uses the large tooling. He said it reduces chatter. Well, I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna tell you, it really makes a difference, uh, in my opinion, to you know to have to have this tooling. I, it it's, cuts beautiful. Uh, it, just change the tip out if you need a, a sharp tip. Um, yeah, get one of these definitely for sure. Get one of these. All right. I've got obviously some angles here to work out. And there, I have enough relief there. Okay, so pull this to the back. Okay, and so the way this will work is uh, I've got my angle here, and I'll just bring this back and forth to cut, and then I'll have to, instead of going into the work, I'll be pulling away from the work. So I'll do a, a cut here on the inside. Um, and then you'll start to see the angle develop um, and then I'll bring the cross slide that way and then I'll do another cut and I'll continue to do that until I have an angle all the way across the inside face. Another thing is that I've noticed that these aren't uh, perfectly centered too so you'll see it, it'll take a while to get it uh, straight. Um, I may just come back and go straight into the work to get it perfectly circle and then come back around. Anyway, we'll, we'll just see. I have a habit of I always want to check and make sure that nothing's going to hang or bang. I'd, and it's a good thing too because if you accidentally, well if you don't have, mine doesn't have a cover, it didn't come with one when I bought it. But also, uh, if you get in the habit of doing that, if you don't have a cover and you accidentally le le leave your chuck key in there, uh, it will fall out on you. So I always try to get in the habit and you, you'll catch me not doing it, but I try to rotate stuff before I actually turn the machine on. And I can see that it's considerably out of round here. So I'm just using the big hand wheel now to bring it straight across, and I'm not using the uh, I'm not using the uh, <laughs> that piece, this piece. something I just want to check and see uh, I just think it's out of round nope. what's happening now uh, you guys might be able to see it uh, I'm banging right here uh, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and readjust here I'll just take that tool and have it come out a little bit further Should give me what I need. Okay. Hang in here a little bit. Okay. Okay, I got that cleaned up. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, take the carriage and lock it onto the, um, <clears throat> taking the carriage wheel down, locking this down, and I'll 
be using this uh, to drive this out, and then I'll be creating a taper uh, with uh, with the cross with this piece here. And this will be my final cut here. And I will be sanding the inside of this as well. Okay. So now I've got a five degree uh, relief angle there on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and face the back, and I'll be right back. All right, I'll do a little sanding on that. Try not to lose a finger. All right, and I'm doing it this way, like I mentioned before because uh, I don't have uh, any way to grab this on the other side. I'm gonna have to grab it from the inside once I flip it over. In the interest of not losing a finger, I have a dowel rod here. And I put some uh, red rouge on there, or red red. I'm just going to be polishing uh, this inside here. Take this out. Okay, now I can get the inside. I'll change my trucks out and I'll be back. All right, so I'm gonna start again by uh, facing this off and getting it true. And then I'm, I've got my angle changed to uh, the five degrees in the other direction. And I changed the teeth out of the chuck to the inside teeth. And I flipped, uh, flipped this piece of brass over. So here we go. High speed, low speed. Well, that cutter is not working very well. All right, so here I'm gonna be doing a facing operation to uh, uh, get the front rounded over. I'll be using the campering bit or the router, the quarter round router bit uh, to smooth out the face of this uh, donut here.
So in here I'm going to be doing a sanding operation. Uh, I like sanding brass. Uh, I like it make it pretty and shiny. Uh, getting that round, uh, hopefully it'll release out of the mold uh, when I work on this and uh, get it where I need to be. Um, always be careful doing this. I bang my fingers and real scary. Uh, <laughs> blowing the little dust in your face there, huh? So now what I'm doing is I'm just uh, uh, gearing this, uh, sorry, this round over bit here to cut the inside. As you can see, I have to fill around with it for a little bit. And we'll polish it up here. Okay, just got it polished up here, and I got my uh, my angles now. So hopefully uh, this thing will release from the mold better now. Let's see here, you can see maybe a little bit more polishing on the inside. Remember, I said it was going to be difficult to uh, uh, get that back in the chuck now, but now it's got a rounded over appearance, and there's a relief angle draft angle um, I might just want to go ahead and uh, see if I can go ahead and pull that out uh, from what I read though that as long as I put an angle on everything it should be a lot easier to pull it out of the mold all right so I'll conclude this video and then maybe we'll do a quick one of just trying to see if we can pull this out of the mold um, and if that's successful we'll probably uh, go ahead and make a new hub and uh, continue on and hopefully have way better castings. All right, thanks for watching YouTube. If you like this, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and All right, guys, day. just a quick follow up here. Uh, as you can see, I went ahead and uh, uh, did the green sand casting of the mold and as the picture shows, when I flipped it over, I didn't even have to tap it out. It fell out perfectly. Now, my sand is not correct wetness and there's so many things wrong but it came out dang near perfect. So um, cold coffee, everybody that has left comments, I want to thank you guys very, very much. That was very helpful.